Hey guys, I am finally back, and I'm going to give the shoe thing another try and see if it works for me, since I'm still buying shoes and the response to the older videos is overwhelmingly positive. Thanks for that, by the way. Now, I originally shot this video as a live commentary, like my old videos, but I don't think I can handle that format anymore, honestly, so I'm actually coming back to this after a year of wearing these, which has afforded me some additional insight on them. I'm trying to figure out a way to do these videos that works better for me, so let me know if you have any suggestions on formatting or even what information you want out of me in these. Anyway, what I have here is a pair of Rick Owens Ramones mainline in a very interesting colorway. First off, big ass Rick Owens mainline box. I have a pair of Dark Shadows I got in 2018, and the box on those was honestly kind of shocking. It feels like it would disintegrate in a humid climate. It doesn't really matter, but for the price, it's nice to see this insanely dense and thick box on the main lines. Another thing to note is that fresh Rick leather has this extremely distinctive and pleasant smell. It's almost like a mix of vanilla and baby powder. If you've ever had a pair of these or geo baskets, you'll know what I'm talking about. Next up is the prerequisite tote bag, which is of extremely high quality. Everyone loves these, myself included, and I don't think anyone is actually using them for their shoes. Dark Shadow also gets one, but the main line actually says Rick Owens on it. Alright, so here they are, Triple Black Mainline Ramones. I got these in 2021, but I believe they were actually from the Fall Winter 2020 collection. Rick has absolutely made Triple Black Ramones before, but I think this was the first time in a long time. The used ones I've seen for sale were from like 2009. So everything here is black, and it's a very deep, mean-looking black, except for the hardware, which remains finished in silver. The entire concept of the Ramones is to take a Converse-style sneaker and distort it into this massive boot-like monstrosity. But this triple black color, at least to me, flips that concept. The size and shape of the shoe is slimmed and muted from the color, and instead of a sneaker becoming a boot, it's more like a boot being slimmed down into a sneaker. I see these as more of a miniature combat boot, if anything, and on foot, they don't really look or style like a pair of Ramones. I think a pretty classic Rick look is the Berlin sweats over a pair of Ramones, and it just doesn't look good at all with these. When I wear them, I never go for pants that pool over the shoe. I prefer to embrace the combat boot thing and tuck pants into them. Which, at least for me, is in contrast to the Dark Shadows, which don't have nearly as much room for that, at least with the bulkier pants that I like to wear with these. I have to say that these really do not look like Ramones on foot from a distance in real life, though. If you want the Ramones look, or you're online and really want people to know you're wearing them, I would avoid this colorway entirely. Now, as far as the quality is concerned, it's mostly excellent. Rick himself admitted to his sneakers having questionable construction back in the early dunk days, but by now his footwear division must be like a well-oiled machine. The leather used here has a natural finish, it feels supple, luxurious, like you'd expect a nice cow leather to feel, but it's also notably thick and durable. All my Rick leathers have held up and aged beautifully, and this is no exception. It's hard to see on these, but the toe cap is also leather. Of course, you get the classic Rick sneaker platform with a shark tooth sole, which on the main lines goes all the way back. Dark Shadow gets like almost a built-in heel tap for some reason. Seems like it's better, so I don't know why it's not on the main lines. Now, people like to talk about how the quality has gone down, which is really said about everything all the time, but I will say the one thing I noticed was the stitching connecting the midsole to the upper. It's kind of sloppy in this one spot, while it's flawless on my old pairs. Still, it is nice to see a sneaker constructed in this boot-like manner. As I mentioned, the hardware on these is silver, I think it adds a nice bit of contrast and also a bit of luxury to the look. The zips are nice and beefy, big Rick Owens branded zipper, though these can be a little annoying to zip up sometimes as the leather creases with wear and becomes uneven. I'm years deep into this designer, luxury fashion stuff, I've owned tons of pairs, felt five times more in hand, and I still feel Rick is among the best when it comes to balancing luxury and durability. At least when it comes to staple models like these. Still, I'm a bit perturbed by that stitch, and I'd be curious to hear if anyone else has experienced anything similar. 
A lot of people will debate the merits of Dark Shadow versus Mainline Ramones. I think there's generally an assumption that the Mainline is just automatically better because it costs more and is made of leather, but that's not how I would pick which to go with at all. I feel like these are two distinctly different options for two different use cases, and they can coexist equally. The canvas upper on the Dark Shadows is not leather, obviously, but I've found it to be quite nice, and mine have held their form after years of use. Now, this doesn't really apply to my all-black pair of mainlines here, but if you look at pictures of people wearing mainlines in the black and white colorway, the leather tends to crease and age in a way that is very grotesque and fleshy. And that's not a negative thing, it's a cool thing, but I find that grotesque look a bit more difficult to pull off. It works great in the world of Rick, the world of avant-garde, you could even wear them with something like Yoji Yamamoto, but if you're looking for that first, more accessible piece that blends with an existing normal wardrobe, Mainline is not the way to go in my opinion. Now that's not to say that Dark Shadow doesn't work well with more avant-garde looks. They have a unique visual warmness and softness to them that meshes well with more monk-like, robish looks. But the main appeal of the Dark Shadow is just how accessible it is. I could wear them with my Berlins pulling over them, or I could just wear them with totally normal-ass jeans and a t-shirt. I'm not a fan of how it looks, but there's a reason why you see a lot of celebrities choosing to style them with streetwear looks as a stand-in for like a Jordan 1. The main lines are undoubtedly a step up in material quality and robustness over the Dark Shadows, but if you're struggling between the two, really think about how you're going to wear them and what you have in your closet, I think that's more important. And now with the newer 21 ounce denim pairs, which I feel close that quality gap quite a bit and make the traditional canvas irrelevant, your choice should come down to styling intentions. So I paid $500 for these on an Essence sale, it was the last pair in stock, and for mainline high top Ramones, that's a pretty great deal. Is it worth the money? You know, of course not. But it's not that bad relative to how nice they are and how long I know they'll last with even just a minor amount of care. I don't know when or why it happened again, but the Ramones have had like their third resurgence as the IT shoe in the past year. So they're regularly selling out for their MSRP of 900 plus, which is totally insane. I would not spend that on these, but in the world of expensive shoes, these are tanks. They're well made, they last, so it is what it is. When it comes to sizing, it's important to note that at some point in the last two or three years, Rick started shipping these mainline pairs with this removable comfort insole. First off, that insole is a game changer. These are insanely comfortable. I've done tons of long walks in them, while my older pairs are like walking on rocks. But naturally, adding a thick insole changes sizing, and I decided to go true to size on these based on Essence's size predictor. I'm a true size 9 US EU42, and in my old mainline ricks, I went down to a size 41. Going true to size in these with the insole was definitely the right choice. Now the main lines naturally fit a little looser than the canvas dark shadow due to the rigidity of the leather and the fact that the lacing on the main lines doesn't really do anything to secure your foot. So I at first felt like I should have got a smaller size, but I haven't had any issues walking in these and you should be fine going true to size. But I do think that you could go down half a size depending on availability if you had to. So if you're shopping for any used mainline Rick, just be careful because sizing will vary based on if it has that newer comfort insole or not. So in the past year of wearing these, I've really come to rely on them as my go-to pair of pseudo boots. I've been into wearing bulky cargo pants and then I tuck the cargo pants into them. I like doing it so much that I recently got a pair of actual Rick boots and I think it's a possibility that they're going to usurp these Ramones. I only bought these because the price was really good and the colorway was uncommon. I knew going in that they were probably not going to be a permanent addition to my roster, so we'll see what happens. I definitely recommend mainline Ramones in general. They're awesome. But as for this triple black, the mini boot thing, or as I like to call it, a summer boot, is interesting, but there's way better options if I'm honest. Well that's all I've got, I'll see you guys in the next one, probably with some big ass boots.